evaporation. Hello. I'm running a little late for our experiment. I'm at the garage. I had to get some petrol. What? You're on a mobile at a petrol station? Yeah. Get off the phone and switch it off sharpish. Hi, sorry I'm late. Well, at least you're here in one piece. I was a bit worried about you on your phone at the garage. Why? Well, you should never use a mobile phone, light a match, smoke, or do anything else that could cause a spark at a petrol station. Your petrol's very dangerous, and a spark from any of these things could cause an explosion. Richard's lined up a demonstration to show how dangerous petrol can be. He's pouring petrol onto the fire. Richard, why does the petrol not just burn, it also seems to explode? It's because it's not just the liquid petrol that's burning. When the petrol ignites, the petrol vapour, a gas, also ignites. So it's the burning gas that causes the explosion? That's right. Whenever you leave a liquid in the open air, some of the liquid becomes a gas. It evaporates. Unlike boiling, evaporation happens at any temperature. Petrol evaporates very readily and is highly flammable. An explosive combination. How do firefighters tackle such fires? One of the things we can do is actually cover the leak with a foam blanket. This prevents the vapours from escaping into the air. So when there's no surface area of the liquid exposed to the air, there's no evaporation. That's right. 